So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans more specifically. We're going to be looking at your tactical sets. Now, if you guys don't know, we've already done the Hunter video. It's right here. You guys can check it out. Definitely some cool sets in that video. I will have to reiterate, though. Uh, I mentioned this at the end of the Hunter video. I do have some pieces in this these sets that are unobtainable. So if you see some of those pieces, I'll definitely mention them now. But just be aware that some of these pieces are just not obtainable. This is much more of a, if you have them, cool. If you don't, you can definitely go back into the game and get some really cool pieces. Don't think, oh man, this, this is it. There's definitely some cool pieces that are in the game that are definitely still uh, obtainable. So other than that, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content. I know most people don't like YouTubers asking for this upfront, but I am pretty confident with my content considering I post, well, I'm not posting a lot now because of my second job, but uh, before my second job, I was posting a lot and I still post quite a bit considering I'm working two jobs plus YouTube plus some other things in the background. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the peacekeepers. This one, I will admit, is probably the weakest one, in my opinion, just because I really wanted to use peacekeepers uh, just because for me, the the extra SMG ammo on the side just speaks to me in, in like a deep level. And I wanted to work around that. And I think I like a lot of the pieces in, in this set. I would probably just switch out one piece. So Deep Explorer Helmet, I think is amazing. I think the Hardened Basilisk chest plate, while unobtainable, is amazing. That being said, you can definitely switch it out for something else. The Deep Explorer chest piece is really, really cool. Uh, or the Moonfang X7 chest piece as well. That being said, it has pieces that are unshaderable, so you would just have to work around that. Speaking of Moon, Moonfang X7, we're going to be using the mark for that. So the piece that I would switch out would probably be the N7 Gauntlets. I love how they look in general well, i shouldn't say i love i like it like they're cool and i'm diff i'm specifically using a shader to turn off the glow which is the new monarchy diamonds i wanted to turn it off because a lot of this does not have a glow the only pieces are the two sides on the deep explorer helmet and i didn't want something super asymmetrical on the on the arm so i was like let's let's go for a shader that has no glow and that being said i probably should have gone for one of the edz shaders i think that would have been way better because that has camo it would have lended stuff much better to a tactical set but i don't mind this one this seems more just like a very bougie tactical set if i'm being honest but definitely the weakest set in this video as for the next set i definitely think this one and the next set are the better ones so for the exotic we're actually going to be using the abeyant leaps with the reticle lock ornament i love this ornament it's one of my favorite ornaments just because it looks so cool and it's tactical uh, for the helmet, Wildwood Helm with the Biosphere Explorer Gauntlets. Chest piece is going to be the Sunbreak Plate. And then for the mark, we're going to be using the TM Cogburn Custom Mark. For the shadering, Atlantis Wash is what I ended up using because A, it looks really cool with the, the uh, boots. Gives out that tactical or the camouflage coloring a little bit better. But it also goes well with the Biosphere Explorer Gauntlet, specifically the Yellow Bones. It's almost a one-to-one -one, if i'm being honest now hopefully bungie gives us the option to change the coloring because i think biosphere explorer is one of the coolest armor sets in the game unfortunately has one of the worst shaderings in the game i'm one of the worst i think i still think the taking king armor set has the worst shadering in the game specifically for the glow but i definitely like this set a lot i so much so it's actually in my loadout um for the abandoned leap so when you guys see the Titan uh, Titan loadout video, you will see this one again because, again, I use this one quite a bit. As for the next set for the exotic, we're going to be using Severance Enclosure. I love this set so much so that I'm actually taking this from the Severance Enclosure video that I made for the Titans. If you guys don't know, I'll have it up right now. We went over how it looks, how it shaders, um, and some of the example sets that I made for them. And I absolutely love this one. It just came out so cool. Um, the other uh set that i made for this was the alien inspired look specifically the xenomorph look and i still think this one looks better the xenomorph one looks really cool it's just this one it, it hits those notes for me for again like i said tactical sets are one of my favorite sets to make just because they're so cool but for the helmet and the arms we're going to be using the dark age sets 
for the boots, Braytech snow boots with the Tekken and Regalia mark. I love combining these two just because it looks like they go together very, very well. And then again, Severance Enclosure. For the shadering, Arctic Dreamscape was an easy choice considering not only are the Dark Age stuff more of a snowy biome type of look, but I just love the digital uh, print that is on it. I think it's just, it screams tactical and I love this set. It's one of my favorite sets. It's probably the best set in this video if I'm being quite honest. And then last but not least, I decided to bring back an old look that I made for the Axiom War Rig, which I've already done an Axiom War Rig video as well. You guys can check it out right here. And I really really like this set let me just get that out of the way real quick i just think i should have been better with my shadering shadering sato tribe i love sato tribe i will always say this is the best shader that came out from season of the forge because the other shaders uh house of marin and the other one rasputin they're trash considering the fact that like the yellow honestly it's the yellow that kills me at least sato tribe doesn't have that gross yellow and it's always gonna look good for the pieces, Exodus Downhelm with the Phobos Warding Gauntlets is such a good combo because for me, the Exodus Downhelm it has that this little like thing on the on the left side, and the arms also has that on the right side. For me, it kind of looks like one of them's a camera and the other one's like a almost like a thermal camera type of thing or a camera for something. I don't know. Maybe that's the one on the helmet's the one that is able to see for the Titan, and the one on the other side is for people that are like on a base to see uh, either way looks really cool for the chess piece obviously acting more rig with the grants vicksburg ornament i think this ornament is just amazing and technically fixes the issue that acting more rig have has which the bullets are just terrible looking colors and this one doesn't fix that problem because it does have fixed colors but it's better than the other one um deep explorer greaves was an easy choice just because the angular piece of the chest piece goes really well with the deep explorer greaves and then intrepid exploit mark because a there's a holster on the left side and then grenades on the right side i think one grenade actually and then pouches and stuff which again tactical so i if i'm being quite honest if we're looking at this from a purely tactical set this one might be the best one just because it is truly tactical there's pouches there's bullets there's cameras there's bombs on the left side or the right side of the arm well my right but his or her left and the boots would be the only thing that are not tactical technically but even then like i think they are technical like not everything has to have pouches and everything i think how i have it like displaced i think it's really really good because realistically you're gonna go for your chest or your cloak or your mark and not so much your boots maybe so i definitely like this set a lot probably my favorite if i'm being, if I'm being honest when we when we look at it as a purely tactical set this is the best one but the second and third one just visually look amazing so titans let me know what you guys think i really like a lot of these sets again um i actually did not go through any pieces that are unobtainable and quite frankly i don't see any that are unobtainable i think a lot of the pieces that i went through are obtainable aside from Tekian's regalia mark um maybe in the future because this is from season of defiance which is still available final shape after final shape then unfortunately that mark is probably going to be unobtainable that being said they'll probably bring it back through either Zer or or maybe dares of eternity if i'm being honest either way let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Remember, like, comment, subscribe really does help. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.